Once you've started your Veil installation, either by DVD or USB key, it'll start Windows and then it'll ask you for a new installation. Uh, do not choose Repair an Existing Installation since this is the first time that the release candidate is available. Click on New Installation. Now we're going to be going through some time lapse here and I'll be talking about it as we go through it. First of all, you're going to choose the disk that you're going to install the operating system on. You can see that I have three disks here. I have disk 0, which is my primary, and then I have disk 1 and disk 2. Uh, disk 1 and 2 are internal drives. I'll talk about those in a little bit. Uh, but we're going to be installing on disk 0. Click I understand. It'll erase the data and click on install. We're now going at 64 times speed. Uh, this part took about 15 minutes to go through. Uh, the entire process takes about 45 from beginning to end with all the updates. But again, we're going 64 times through here. It'll copy the files, expand the files, install the features, and then reboot. Now again, about 15 minutes into this, we're going to have to make a couple of entries. And it'll stop and wait for your input. You're going to have to choose your country or region, time and currency, keyboard layout. Click on Next. You're going to verify the time and date settings. Click on Next. You're going to read the license agreement. Click on Next. And then you're going to get a product key. You can get the product key through the Connect site where you got the software. Once you're done, you're going to name your server. Again, this is the only time that you can actually name it, so make sure you name it something that you like. I just call my test one veil server. I enter in a password. I confirm the password. And then I'll enter in a hint. Now anyone can see the hint, so make sure it doesn't uh, include the password itself, but just put in some name that will require uh, you to think about it and to get the password. Click on next. I would suggest use recommended settings and then go through. Now this part is at eight times speed as we go through and update the server. Uh, it will go through and automatically restart when it needs to. Uh, it's now restarting. We're at 32 times. It'll restart again. Now at 32 times again, it will go through, bring up the desktop. It will finish up the installation and then restart a third time. We're at 16 times now. Now once we're done, we're back to regular speed now, it'll finish up the server preparation. It'll go through and make any changes, uh, do all of the updates that it needs to do, and then you can click on close. Again, once you want to start doing your connectors, you can go to veil server slash connect or whatever your server name is slash connect when you're ready. Now we're pretty much good to go. The only thing that I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to my start menu. I'm going to type in W-I-N-V-E-R and hit enter. This will give me my version. You can see here that I'm running version 6.1 of Microsoft Windows Home Server. Uh, this copy, which is the evaluation copy, expires on 8-1 of 2011. Click on OK, and you're ready to start.